Tomorrow, Continental Airlines, facing bankruptcy only five months ago, is now flying high with non-union personnel. Will their move to cut airfares spark an industry-wide price war that could lead to bargain fares for you? Tomorrow, watch ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. ABC is next. Good night. 1984 from ABC. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. The Democratic winners and losers in Iowa have now moved their... Later in this broadcast, the Marines continue to leave Beirut, but the U.S. Navy planes are still flying over enemy positions. Poland's Roman Catholic Church under pressure to crack down on activist priests. And Continental Airlines is back in business, ready for a fair war. This is World News Tonight, brought to you by... As of today, it is a little cheaper to fly between many locations in this country. A fair war is not unusual in the airline's business, but right in the middle of this one is an airline that just last September was filing for bankruptcy. As ABC's Gary Shepard reports, Continental is back, and the other airlines are worried. When Continental filed for protection under Chapter 11 of the bankruptcy laws five months ago, it rescinded all its union contracts, laid off its workforce of 12,000, and grounded all its planes. We came very close to death as a company. We had a very, very close skirt with disaster in September. Now the airline is back in business with a route system pared down from 78 to only 34 cities with only one third the workforce earning substantially lower salaries. Ticket prices have been cut drastically and look what's happened as a result. Like the mythical Phoenix rising up from the ashes, Continental says it's the best deal in town. We priced the other airlines and it would cost us more than twice as much to fly one of the other airlines. It's low priced, it's priced with no restrictions, and it's priced very, very honestly, and the public loves it. Last month, Continental racked up one of the highest load factors in the industry, filling 65% of its seats system-wide. Last week, United Airlines, the nation's largest carrier, began to feel the heat and started cutting prices to match Continental in a number of Western markets. Well, little by little, their lower fares have been attracting more passengers, and those passengers are, for the most part, coming at the expense uh, of the incumbent competition, uh, United on, in our case. On the Los Angeles-Denver route, for example, United has reduced prices on some coach seats from $255 to only $95 to compete. Today, Continental came back with more cuts and expanded the battleground to the Midwest and even to some East Coast cities. Frontier and Western Airlines have already joined in, matching the price cuts in many cities. So airline industry analysts say they're worried this could spread and become a destructive nationwide airfare war. If that were to happen, they say, some weaker airlines could easily go bankrupt. Gary Shepard, ABC News, Los Angeles. Two